Okay, so we're back, and I'm going into construction tools. So it's yeah, this just must be a part of Screencastify. Okay, the problem is it's in my way of all my good tools, so I don't want that. How? No, the last. No, no. Can you see the six dots over there? Yeah. Hold it, hold it, and drag it a little bit. Get out of there. Click the arrow right there. Where? Whatever. Click, click, click. Yeah, there you go. Okay, anyways. Yeah, that's just garbage. I don't want that. Okay, now. All right, you get this out of here. Thanks, Sam. All right. So now, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, so here's what I want you guys to do. We're going to start out the very easy construction. What I want you to do is we're going to do a given... I want you to construct a segment, okay, just like that. I use this, I like to use the line maker tool. Okay, you guys understand that? So clear your screen, construct a segment kind of below down here. Okay, give me a thumbs up when you have a, when you have a clear screen and a, a, a segment constructed. Okay, now you're giving yourself a given right here. Now, just to give it a name, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my compass and I'm going to put some dots on the end just, just to say that those are points. Now, nor normally, guys, these dots should have no real size to them, but it's sometimes nice to actually see some dots. Okay. Now, here's the part that's just stupid is, this line, is the writing. So that we're going to call this this endpoint. This endpoint is A. This endpoint is A. Okay. And then this endpoint here is B. Okay. All right. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to construct a congruent segment. Okay. This is the easiest construction there are. So when you construct a, a congruent segment, the first thing you need is you need a given. Okay. So here's my given right here. So given segment AB, I don't want to write this down because I won't be able to write it on the screen. Given segment AB, construct segment CD, so CD is congruent to AB. Do you guys understand that? Okay. So what we're going to do now is this. We're going to take our compass. We're going to put the needle end on A. You guys with me on that? <laughs> Oh, before we do that, though, sorry, I forgot one step. We're going to make a ray up here, and this is part of our ray also. We're going to make a really long ray. So this is part of our given. So this is part of our given right here. What we have is we have a segment AB, and then we have, let's say, ray C. Uh, let's see here. We'll, we'll call it Ray uh, CD. Where's my? What happened to my compass? Where'd it go? My compass disappeared. Okay. So click the compass button. No, it looks at. Oh, it's right there. <laughs> okay. So now I'm gonna call this Ray CD. Okay. It is. It really is. Once we get the hang of it, it will be, it will be less confusing. Yeah. yeah, if you want to just watch, just watch what I do. Just watch what I do. Okay, give me a, give me a favor. Go ahead and uh, everyone close your computers really quick, just so I know you're paying attention. Okay. All right. So, I apologize for saying. Okay, so here's the deal. What you see on the screen is given here. Okay. So a basic construction proof needs a given, and then it needs to tell you. So here's what this is saying. Given segment AB and ray, we'll call this ray CD. So I'll put a C here and a D here. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to construct, we're going to call it segment CE. So that CE is going to be congruent to segment AB. And I'll have you guys do this on your own in a second. So the first thing you need in a construction, just like any other proof, is you need a given. And so I should be writing all this down, but I'm just going to tell you what the givens are. So we're given AB, segment AB, 
and we're given ray cd and what we want to do is our goal here is to pr is to construct segment ce so that ce is going to be congruent to ab okay so the first thing we want to do is we just want to move our compass over i didn't want to make that dot i'll get rid of that and i'm going to take my compass needle and i'm going to put it on one of the ends now I'm, okay you guys see that now i'm going to take my other end of the compass i'm going to move it and this actually is a and then i'm going to put it right on b there and then i'm, I'm going to hit the little lock on there that's going to lock my compass so it won't move you guys see that Absolutely. now i'm going to come up i'm going to take that needle and i'm going to put it on c and then what I'm going to do now is up here, I'm just going to draw an arc, a little piece of an arc. I'm not going to draw a whole circle. I'm just going to draw a little piece of an arc. Okay. And then let me get rid of my compass. I'm done with my compass for now. So this arc right here, that's going to be point E. Okay. And what we've done is if you complete this construction correctly, CE is going to be congruent to AB. So... I can put a congruent mark through it. I don't want that. Sorry. I want this. I can say this. I can say that this piece right here is congruent to this piece right here. Now, if two segments are congruent, then by definition, they should have the same measure, right? So I then I can get a ruler, a measuring device, and actually use it as a ruler and just check to make sure. So that's about a little over seven there, right? Coming down here. That's a little over seven. So it looks like I do have correct measures. You guys understand that? Okay, so here's what I want you guys to do. Okay, here's what I want you guys to do. I'm going to go back to my one note so we can see it better. All right, so here it is. So when, and then I'm going to have you guys do this in your construction tools. Okay, so here we go. Given segment X, Y, and ray tn construct a segment um, th so that so that x y congruent to th guys ask one you see what i'm saying so go ahead and get your tools out and do okay so you clear your screen first thing you need to do is make your givens okay so you need to construct a segment and then you need to construct a ray put those letters on there okay, the letters are just the road is yes. Yeah. Line of compass disappeared. Yeah. 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 Now, this is going to be our, we're going to use online, but then I want to have you guys practice with physical compass also. Let's see what you guys see the difference here. Yeah, if you, sometimes your compass can be a little, if you make your given segment a little too bit long, your compass won't reach, so you have to... <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait. No. Come on. Will. 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 Will.
Just raise your hand. Give me a thumbs up if you're parent getting it. Now, there's lots of different things you can construct. You can construct angles, parallel lines. But right now, we're doing Up and construct a congruent segment. 
And then always just measure and see if that, you know, remember by definition, if two segments are congruent, then they will have the same measure. Okay? I'm getting frustrated. Is the physical one easier or harder than the one? It's so easier. Very much. It's so much easier. Okay. Is it? Definitely harder. I find as you get further into these constructions, and once you get the hang of the online one, how do you last, lock it? last year, so that's the one thing is they don't lock. Okay, so so they will slip and not lock. Yes. Okay. So it looks like the next construction we're going to make, we're going to make it using a physical compass, okay? Okay. Now, the easiest construction is congruent segments. All right? Now we're going to take it up a notch. Okay, is there anyone who was not able to construct a congruent segment with using the physical construction tool. So you can do a question. At what point should we put Do you want us to do the Yeah, it's the same points we did before. Yep. Okay. Flip your paper over. Now, I'm going to do it on the online tools, and you're going to try to do it with your physical compass. Okay, so here's the deal. Flip your paper over. I'm going to clear my screen. Okay, so now here's the deal. Listen up, guys. Okay. So, the first thing that I want you guys to do is we're going to construct a given angle. Now, don't make it too big and leave some space above, on top to construct it. So, I'm going to go ahead and construct this angle here, okay? And I'm going to call this angle A. And I'm just going to make it a good old-fashioned acute angle like that. This is angle A, okay? You guys with me on that? So yeah, go ahead and construct using a straight edge. This is a given angle. So just kind of give yourself this is angle A. I'll put it right here. So this is angle A. Okay, guys, with me on that. Okay. What we're gonna do is we're gonna construct. Now the next thing I want you to do up top is we're gonna construct a ray kind of above it a little bit, but leave some room to work. So I'm going to construct a ray kind of out here. Okay. Now I'm going to call this ray um, B, C. So I'm just going to put a B on the end of my ray. And then I'm just going to go way kind of towards the end and I'm going to put this good. This is ray B, C. So this is all given, right? There's nothing that we have done. We haven't really done a construction yet. So our goal here is given this, given angle A and ray BC, what we want to do is we want to construct a congruent angle. So how do we do that? Okay, now pay attention. The first thing you want to do is take your compass and put your needle on A. You guys got that? And you can use the physical one. Now, I'm going to unlock my compass, and then I'm going to move my compass in, and I'm just going to get it so it's going to intersect the two rays of the angle. So I'm going to lock my compass, and now I'm going to just, now look, here's where it gets a little harder with the physical compass. I'm going to make an arc. Now, I'm not going to make a full circle. I'm just going to make an arc, and that arc is going to intersect, that arc is going to intersect both sides. And here's where you cannot let your compass slip. Okay, and this is why the physical compass is a little hard because you can't lock it. Now, with that same compass setting, I'm going to come up to B. I'm going to put the needle on B. Y'all see that? Okay. Notice this setting is the same setting as when I did the arc. Guys, that? Now, I'm going to go ahead and take this setting here. And I'm just going to make another arc. And I'm going to make sure it crosses the ray. But I'm also going to kind of make it go up here a little bit. And I'm not going to make a full circle, about a half circle. You guys with me on that? Okay, now, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take that compass and I'm going to put my needle on one of the places it crossed the angle here. Okay, see that? I'm going to unlock my compass 
And then I'm going to adjust it so the pencil is going to hit right where it hit, right there. Okay, see what I just did there? So I take my compass. Now I'm just measuring the opening of that arc right there. And then I'm going to lock it. And then I'm now I'm going to take that needle and I'm going to come up here. And I'm going to put that needle right where it crosses the arc. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to make a little slash right here. See that? Just make a little arc. arc. Okay, now that's a, so that I have this. And then I'm going to take a line maker tool. I'm going to start at B. Get rid of my compass real quick. I'm going to take my line maker tool. I'm going to start at B and I'm going to go right through that slash just like that. Now, what did I have here? If I measure them correctly, angle A should be congruent to angle B. Okay? You guys see what I'm saying? It, it's Yeah, it, there is a little bit of human error going on right now, right? Okay, so I will say this, though. You will have a construction test in here. So, so you will be up. So, so the part of it is that you can construct probably with the physical ones. So do I expect it to be perfect? No. But do I expect you to know the steps on how to construct? Yes. So what we've learned is two constructions today. We've learned how to construct congruent segments and construct congruent angles. Okay? Give me a thumbs up if you were able to construct a congruent angle given A and the ray that you could construct. That's it. I did it perfectly. Pretty good. Yeah, we're walking around. It looked pretty good. Yep, it looked pretty good. You guys did a nice job. Yep. Okay. Excellent. Okay. So that's our lesson for today. We, I just wanted to introduce you to constructions, knowing it is a geometric read a lot. If we can construct it, we can use we can, we can use this instruction in geometry okay? as a reason. Even if we said in geometry proof, yeah. We constructed that, even if we didn't even have to construct it. We don't can right? All right, guys, you can take your physical compass. If you have a little case to it, put it away and put it up here. And then in the rodent bucket here, you can take your straight edge and put it in there also. You call it good. If you can just hang on to your extra paper. Just hang on that way. You can ask more about practice. Do you say no? Well, my compasses are not that here. Thank you.
Hold on, let me stop my screen.